today, would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? This is a term uh, that you used earlier this year. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he, he is a guy. So with Xi in town, Newsom discovered his inner Republican and suddenly made San Fran look like a place where people would actually want to live instead of OD. And you wouldn't believe what America's newest fascist accomplished in one weekend. In the dead of night, pedestrian barricades went up to control crowds and keep junkies out of the streets. Gone, too, is the graffiti, the garbage, and perhaps most obviously, gone are the homeless. Poof! Just like that, vanished. Xi Jinping came to San Francisco, and what did Gavin Newsom do? He cleaned the streets up, got rid of the bums, and put up barricades for who? Xi Jinping, communist leader, dictator. Now, if he could do this this quick, he could have did it that quick and continued to do it years and years ago. But no, he rolls out the red carpet for communists. Look at this, guys. This is in America right here. This is not China. Let's watch. Wow, look at all those flags. Communist flags waving. Wow, incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. Why would any other country wave their flag in another country, especially one that's communist? There's no scenario where I find this to be okay or amusing. This should not happen, guys. This is so stupid. Which goes to prove the fact that Gavin Newsom's an absolute piece of shit. Excuse the language. This is not China. This is San Francisco. America has fallen. Look at that little bitty American flag. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Chinese communist flags just in this one picture. And they lined the whole street for blocks, guys. This right here, our flag right here, you wave that around San Francisco, they probably stab you. They hate America over there. Look at this, guys. Horrendous. Waving it so happy. Welcome, communists. Woo! Gavin Newsom loves you. Check this out, guys. Colin Rugg, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, seemed on edge this week. At APEC, where President Biden met with Chinese President Xi Jinping, at one point, Blinken almost appeared to be crying while Biden was meeting with Xi. Another clip, Blinkley is clearly uneasy as Biden refers to Xi as a dictator, which he is, guys. Watch, watch Blinken, guys. It's incredible. ...and find the right way for the two major countries to get along okay. with each other. I firmly believe in the promising future of the bilateral relationship. Mr. President, you and I, we are at the helm of China-U.S. Relations. Mr. President, after today, would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? This is a term uh, that you used earlier this year. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense Wow, look at him. Cringe. He's Cringed. He's a country that is a communist country that is based on the former government totally different than ours. Yeah, so you got to give Biden that. He just say he is a dictator. He runs a communist country. It's different than ours. But Blinken's his absolute cringe moment right there. I don't know if he... I had to take a shit or if he just cut onions or something because he cannot handle it, guys. Someone's holding a crucifix in front of his face, getting exercised like a demon. Now, we're going to cut to Grev Gutfield, guy, because he had an interesting take uh, about that situation. Let's watch. But it's indeed over. That big loud thud you heard was the progressive agenda hitting the ground like Joe Biden near a sandbag. And it was all thanks to Governor Greasy Locks. Our nation's weird, bitter souls called journalists won't admit it, but Gav just caved to reality. And Gavin looks like every every villain in every movie that's you know funneling money into his own pockets. Sticky politician. That's what this guy looks like. Switched political sides, and his reason is what we've known all along: the left's silly, sanctimonious adolescent <laughs> simply does not work in the real world. So how did we get a new Newsom? Today in San Francisco begins the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference, which is a grifty way of saying, let's spend money on whores and limos. <laughs> this is something American politicians have perfected. But like everything else, Asia learns fast. The guest of honor, Chinese Communist Party Chairman Xi Jinping. Mm. I love his menus. A racist would say, but he's no slouch. You want to see how a world leader exits a plane? Take a look, Joe. This is how it's done. Look at that smooth, <laughs> confident descent. You get the feeling he's actually in control of his limbs. <laughs> and without a spotter, too. It's almost like he knew how to use the stairs. How many hours of practice does it take to do that? And it looks like he knows where he is. Not an ambulance in sight, either. Excellent dismount, by the way. 
I could watch that for days, and maybe I will. Now, you got to get the dog to check him for fentanyl if Obama hasn't eaten him first. <laughs> so with Xi in town, Newsom discovered his inner Republican and suddenly made San Fran look like a place where people would actually want to live instead of OD. And you wouldn't believe what America's newest fascist accomplished in one weekend. In the dead of night, pedestrian barricades went up to control crowds and keep Look junkies out of the streets. Look gone, too, is the graffiti, the wow. garbage, and perhaps most obviously, gone are the homeless. Poof! Just like that, vanished. That's a lot of... The walls are racist. Why are they putting them up all of a sudden? Oh, it's because rich people from communist China, heads of state, are coming down to San Fran. They don't want us... They don't want Gavin looking bad because the streets have needles and people taking shits on the side of the road. Wow. Buses to Martha's Vineyard. Even Chi can't make his own citizens disappear that fast. And that's a guy who's so far out ahead on labor camps that Nike has him on retainer. <laughs> you know, usually when people disappear from California that fast, they've moved to Texas. But it's weird that no one's asking where they went. And why it couldn't have been done sooner if it was that easy to do now. Now, since the homeless think the city streets are toilets, Newsom wants to make sure the chairman doesn't step in a San Francisco treat. <laughs> and also, with Biden scheduled to attend, things could get pretty messy if the president actually tries to, you know, walk. If he falls in one of those streets, he'd come up looking like a six-foot-tall baby Ruth. <laughs> Delicious. So why is it that when a lib wants to govern effectively, he suddenly becomes a conservative? Well, let's ask Gav. I know folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Yeah. Um, that's true. True. Because yep. it's true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great answer, right? That is what they call in court proof. Gavin just murdered the left's entire agenda. So can we now get on with making our Democrat-run cities livable again? Well, sadly, it turns out decades of progressivism can't be undone overnight. Bunch of damn hypocrites over there. Vote them out. Look at that. Clean it up for Xi Jinping, but won't even do it for their own citizens. Guys, in California, if you're listening to this, vote these people out of office and destroying your city. Look at this. They brought out the red carpet for the communists. They don't give two shits about you. What do they do with those homeless people? They push them off to some other decrepit alleyway over there so they can shit and piss and take their drugs. Horrible, guys. It's ridiculous that this man has done this. And he's apparently running for uh, president. And he's eyeing at the Florida state as well for uh, Ron DeSantis' uh, governor spot. He's trying to leave y'all after you destroyed your city, your state. Sleazebag piece of work that guy right there is. That place has been finished a long time ago, guys. I keep voting in them damn Democrats. That's what's going to happen. They're going to roll out the red carpet for communist China every day of the week. They don't care about you guys. Man, I bet you Gavin would have put those homeless people on y'all's front lawn in San Francisco. He doesn't give two shits about you guys over there. Over there pushing off these homeless people, putting up fences, which, by the way, they're not, they don't even want to do that for the border. They want wide open borders. And how many people are coming across the border now? Like 10,000 a day? Guys, this is getting out of control, guys. Ridiculous. I heard taking shits and pissing and, and you know, showing themselves nude, children in public. I should have voted this man out years ago. And now he's on the presidency. How do you think he's going to run the country? Just like California, guys. Straight into a shithole ground. And never will be able to return. They'll continue to roll out the red carpet for she if he does ever become president, which I hope he doesn't. It's going to be real bad. Like, comment, subscribe to us. You see you on the next one.